Hey there, I'm Molly and welcome to my channel. I help teachers start their own tutoring business by giving them my tutoring method so that they can start making an extra thousand dollars a month on the side using skills that they already have. If you're a teacher watching this, then hello. I'm teaching first grade online this year and I absolutely love it. If you're not a teacher but you're wanting to become a tutor, that's great too. I'm glad you're here. So in this video today, I'm going to be teaching you three tips to get started with your tutoring business today. Stop putting it off. You can do this with little to no money at all. My three tips are three things that are actionable that you can start right away. And like I said before, you don't need any extra cash to start these things. So seriously, stop putting it off. If you are looking to make extra money and you've thought about things like multi-level marketing, sometimes called an MLM, but you're not really into selling leggings or facial products because that means you really have to hassle your friends to buy from you. And of course, the people on the top want you to sell, sell, sell because they're the ones benefiting. They're the ones getting the free car because of all the hard work you're putting in. When you own your own tutoring business, you get all the money besides your taxes and you set the hours and the rates and it's all up to you. You're in charge. And I think a lot of teachers are used to being in charge in their own classroom. So this is something that you could definitely take into your tutoring business and really benefit. So that's my first step is just get started. Stop putting it off and start thinking big picture of what your life could be like with a few extra hours a week of just tutoring one to three to five clients, depending on how much you wanna work. What could your life be like if you were making an extra thousand dollars a month? Could you pay off your car? I did, my tutoring money. Could you go on that trip to Italy that you've always wanted to go on with your significant other? Could you finally let your kid take private flute lessons? because now you can afford it. The possibilities are endless. And like I said before, you're in charge, which is the best part. My second step is to email 10 parents you already know. Because yes, once you start your tutoring business, you need clients to tutor. As a teacher, you're uniquely positioned to have clients at your fingertips. Kids that you've already had in your class, especially right now, need tutoring. Their parents are trying to balance working and kids learning from home and also trying to catch them up from last year when school ended abruptly. And if you're watching this at another time when things hopefully go back to normal, there's always a demand for tutoring. I've been tutoring for a while now and it seems like the more people find out about you, the more people you might eventually have to shoo away because you're just too busy. One client for me turned into seven almost overnight. Within a few weeks time, I was maxed out on the amount of people that I could tutor. And the great thing about emailing people you already know is they have that like, no trust factor with you. You've likely been their child's teacher or they heard about you from someone else who had you as a teacher. They trust you and they know your abilities. So you've already built that relationship with them. Likewise with the kids, they're gonna be pumped to see their former teacher again. And it's just an easy transition to go from former teacher to now their tutor. The last step, step number three, is just deciding on a business name. You can always go by your name if you'd like, um, but having your business name in something other than your legal name is highly suggested because then um, for tax purposes and if something were to happen, hopefully this would never happen, but if you were to get sued, it's better to have that in your business name. Um, you can look into that, you can Google search that topic because I think it's very important to land on something. So originally my business name started out because I wanted to work with kids in reading and writing and that's what I still currently do. So literacy fundamentals fits. I sometimes wish I would have gone with just my name but I've been advised by other business people that no, nope, that's great. Um, it doesn't matter if your website is in your name or not. So decide on your business name and make it official. Register your business with your state, get an LLC, and then you can start reaping the tax benefits as well for the, all the costs that you occur. And I go into a lot more detail on that in my 10 step guide that gets you started with your tutoring business. So these are only three steps that I think are just the bare minimum. There's seven more in my 
free guide that you can get in the description box below. Just click the link and it will download for you. And I would follow all of those steps after these three as well. And if you get through those steps and you're like, wow, I, I've totally got it, but I would just like a little bit more. Um, I currently have spaces open in my Tutorpreneur Academy and it's kind of a special thing right now because I'm available to take on a handful of people that are just right, that we just vibe really well together because I want to do a beta group with those people so you get my course at a discounted rate and weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching. Once this beta group is over, the one-on-one -on -one coaching will be completely gone. So if that's something that interests you, you can also look in the description box and send me um, a message on the link that I'll provide and see if we're a good fit because I only wanna work with people that I think are a good fit for yourself and me. Let's recap those steps. First, just get started, do it. Start today, you will be so happy that you did a week, a month from now when you start getting paid for tutoring. Step number two, email those 10 parents you already know. Something along the lines of, hey, it's Molly. I started a tutoring business. I hope this email finds you well. Here's what my qualifications are. Would you be interested? There's a lot more details that you could add into that and I'm happy to help you with that as well. So reach out to me if you would like a template, which I could give you easily. And step number three, land a business name. Pick it and stick with it. Make sure it's something that you like that matches what you're actually doing in your tutoring business and register it with your state. I hope those tips have been helpful and I hope that you will go ahead and get my 10 step guide so that you can start making an extra thousand dollars a month with just a few clients right now. It's the best time to do it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I hope that you will consider subscribing to this channel so you can get more tips on your tutoring business and how to tutor kids effectively. Thanks for watching.